Good day, people. Um, thanks for joining me. I am just doing this small canvas as a test for a very large commission, oh, commission that I've got. I will try and video this large commission, uh, but I haven't really got the equipment to get all of the um, work in the shot, so I'll just try my best, but I'm doing this small piece. So I've got my big canvas ready. This is for a painting commission piece for a friend of mine. So I've got it all taped and my push pins, and I've got a bit of card in the back to stop the slumping uh, that I may get through paint. So I'm just trying the colours I've got ready for this particular pour. Um, and I'm just going to just try it on this little canvas and then send her a photo <laughs> and hopefully she likes it. This is the thing that's not the nicer side of doing commissions because you can um, do several pours and use big canvases up and they're, oh no, can you change this in? And you can end up well out of pocket. But this is a good friend of mine and I know she'll be happy really with whatever I do. But of course you just want to get it right so she doesn't like very bright colors but she did want a pop of color so what i'm going to do this is magenta and this this paints i'm going to use for these pores are a mix between uh, global and um montmartre which i get from an online supplier in australia and the linky will be at the bottom of my um, video here is a little V if you click on that and it will tell you all my pouring medium and my suppliers for my art supplies if you're in Australia but you can still get Montmartre's uh, paints in the US which is a good thing now the reason I'm putting this pink on the bottom that she said she doesn't want bright colors but she did want a pop of pink was because she does actually want the balloon kissing so I know that if I put all the colours that I know she does like over the top, that the balloon when you when I press the balloon in it will um, reveal the hot pink underneath or the magenta. So that's the theory. <laughs> Has worked before. So again, this is just a little test canvas. So I will. Um, now these are a bit of a weird mix and you'll probably think what the heck is Jill doing as you normally would do when I do things but okay she wanted smoky green so I made my avocado um, I've got a video with custom colors that I make so this avocado was once like baby's poo poos but anyway it comes out really lovely in a pour so I'm going to, yeah, I won't, I'll just do my ziggy zaggy motion. Obviously, I don't want to use up these big cups I've made up for the big pour, so um, hopefully these colours are going to turn out something to what she wants in her art, because this is for the back of her bed, so it's a big canvas, as I said, it's a hundred and one point six by seventy six point two canvas, so it is a big one. Um, sort of a bit more paints coming out of these big cups than I really want for this little canvas, but I'm trying to get all the colours that I'm going to use on the big canvas to see um, how it comes out. Now the weird thing I'm putting in here is a, a mint green. Again, that's um, actually, it's uh, the green deep, but most uh, white with a dash of the green deep in. So it's just to give a mint green. And just going to put for this one a little, she, this is the dusk pink. I think this is the pink that she's, ex, that my friend's expecting, but I wanted that pop of colour to come through underneath so now this was called um, I think it was palm green but I've dulled it down with white 
this was a custom colour that I made, but they look as though they're a really mixed match of colours. But I'm just hoping and praying that these will be the colours that she's happy with. So this was just a, a like a latte colour that I made out of mostly white, then just added burnt umber to make like a muted, she wanted like taupe. So that's the closest I could get. Um, so, I just had to have a sip of my coffee. Cells of a different kind. Um, so really if I do this and it's not, she uh, wants, you know, oh no, take that pink out, or at least when I do the big one, I can, um, adjust it accordingly but really don't like doing large commissions for anyone that don't just choose something that I've already got because I just find them too stressful for a start that you're going to work and work and use all this paint because it is a lot of paint for a big canvas probably well over a hundred dollars in the pouring medium and paints um, that's not your time and that's not including the canvas so it's um big risk if you do something that somebody's not happy with okay actually those that looks quite nice just the colors there they've come after they're tilted now the thing is that i'm having a bit of hard time so i might do a swipe on each side I didn't know whether she didn't ask for navy, but I know navy looks great in a swipe. But I think I'm going to do for the test of this, I'm going to do a navy swipe on one side and a burnt umber swipe on the other. And I believe that both of them will look equally as nice. So I'm thinking if I go that way and swipe that way, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So. It's just a very thin line. Oh, that's disappeared. So maybe a, a bit thicker line. That side. Just see how that goes first before I... I'm going to swipe this way. Move my paint so I don't go and knock this precious paint off anywhere. Okay gonna try this it's only a very thin a uh, small amount and look as you see look look at the difference that small amount makes maybe I might get you guys to let me see what you would choose but ultimately it's gonna be the customer but it's just interesting to see what you guys think too so I'll just do the other side with the brown burnt umber swipe. I'm thinking that that pot, uh, magenta pink in there is going to be because she likes very supple colours, not colours like I'm crazy. I'm the crazy colour person, apparently. That's what I've been called on one of my videos, but with affection, I must add. I said that I'd try colours that I wouldn't even dream of putting together, but they are, I always seem to pull them up. Well, not always, I don't think, but I love giving anything a try. Okay, that's interesting, because look how that navy has come up with cells straight away, and the burnt umber hasn't, and now I'll tell you a little thing that, that actually demonstrates my theory, is I've told you many times before, I make up my paints always at least the day before I'm going to paint. I make up my paints with the pouring medium. I add my two to four drops of Helmar silicone and I leave it overnight minimum. Now, all the paints were made up except for the burnt umber, which I just made up before this pour. So that's showing no, no um, cells. So that's interesting because I've only just made that one up fresh and it doesn't give such good results. But actually that looks like a really nice uh, water scene on this side with a, um, 
is it southern lights northern lights sky but anyway so that uh, magenta's come up quite a lot in this so uh, I'm just thinking that my friend may not like that so much but, but that's all good I'm just waving this over and actually she did say not too many cells so that side might suit her perfectly if I make the swipe colour up on the day that I'm going to do her paw. I'm actually going to take a photo of that, looking for my phone everywhere. It's in my back pocket because that piece there looks so much like a scene, like an ocean scene. So how that is really great for showing anybody the um, difference that pouring your paint, uh, mixing your paint the night before makes, I'm just turning the light off for a second so I don't get the glare back, I'm just taking my photo so I can show her one side or the other but look at that navy side has gone crazy, crazy, crazy cells and I hardly had to put the heat on that but the brown burnt umber hardly came up at all until I put the heat, uh, heat on. So that really does, people ask me why I make up my paint and what difference does it make and I, as I say I, I just find it always turns out better. But there you go. So obviously a lesson to be learned is if you don't want too many cells or you don't want any cells just then do your work the day that you make up your paint and probably don't torch it if you don't want cells. If you are after the cells, you will always get the better result by making your paints up 24 hours ahead. And I absolutely swear by my little Helmar silicon. It's Australian made, but apparently you can get it in the US for about $2 US. One of my um, online guys, Brad, 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 Brad. No, oh, I can't think now. Oh God, I'm having a... Senior moment, anyway, my supply, if you're in Australia or New Zealand, you can actually get this for less than $6, $7 at my online store, which is the cheapest. I have another online store that actually sells it for $12, but my online store from Victoria, a little link at the bottom, they sell it for under $6 and it lasts absolutely ages, two to four drops. I really and it does hardly leave any residue when your paint's dry so okay sorry about my nattering on um, some people like it some people don't <laughs> I'm going to try the balloon on this because my friend Kathy who this big one will be for said yes I love the balloon kisses so we're gonna give this some kisses So as you would know, I probably wouldn't do the balloon kisses until I've allowed it to dry off a bit, but I haven't poured lots of paint on this. So, and where she did, she said she doesn't want too many cells, but she wants balloon kisses. I can actually cover the cells with the balloon kisses, can't I? So, do you know what? That is a really pretty little paw. I have poured on this canvas, as you've probably seen, three times and I was not happy, completely happy with the end result. So I just thought, well, scrape it for the next video. Um, but this one I am going to keep and it's <laughs> so ironic, isn't it? Because I didn't do the sides or anything as this as I would normally do. So I just will go over the sides after. But I'll tell you what, that pops and on a big canvas where they will stretch out, cells will stretch out further and make things look more like butterflies and I'm really excited about that actually and I'm so excited to send the um, photos to my friend to see if she gives me the thumbs up but of course I've got to kind of replicate it or similar on a 76 by 100 and whatever I said canvas which 
it will be different than this but oh my goodness that is a cutie I'm telling you you want to do this one in those colors that is gorgeous look at that I hope you can see it's just really beautiful even if I do say so myself Thank you so much for watching. Um, please give me your thoughts on the navy swipe or the burnt dumber. Really like to know uh, which way you would have gone if this was for you. Um, yeah, love to know. Please keep your comments respectful and if you haven't got anything nice to say, then just move on. Uh, thank you for my 99.9% subscribers and viewers that are say some lovely kind things for every grateful for you and there's some gorgeous gorgeous people out there and i'm very happy to be part of this art community along with my other fellow acrylic art pouring community so see you again next time thank you